Welcome to Bravel Institute. Today we are discussing about standardized deviations test. How to perform the standardized deviations test. So main purpose of this test is to find out the first defects of the chi square test. So how I will explain this test through one example. One day, my boss asked to do one mortality investigation for particular island. So, I went to this island and started to collecting the data. Now, age 30, there is a thousand people are living in the island. At age 31, thousand people are living. Age 32, thousand people. Again, 33, thousand people are living. So, like that, up to 39,000 people are living in the island. So, I collected this data. After that, I collected the how many people died in the, at the age of 30. So, that we can collect from the death registry. Maybe all the countries are maintaining some death registry. So, that I can say it is a BH. How many people are died in that year? So, age 30,000 people are there. In this 31,000 people are there, up to 39,000 people are there. So, in the at the age 30, 15 members are died. At the age 31, 18 members are died. Again, 15, again, 18. So, I collected the death data. This is observed death. 15 members are died at the age 30 in that year. And 18. And again 15. Again 18. Again 15. Again 30. And 25. And 22. And 25. Then 22. 31, 32, 33, up to 39. So, this is my death data. Observe death in particular year. So, in this island, all the, this is 1000 only. So, this 1000, what we can say, 1000 people are at the age of 30. So, this 1000, we can say it is a exposed to risk. So, at the age 30, 1000 people are there. So, 1000 people are exposed to risk. How many death? This is death data. Now, I can calculate force of mortality. How to find out force of mortality? I am going to find out force of mortality. So, force of mortality is finding out by Poisson formula is, is equal to dh divided by ehc. We know this formula in last class. So, dh we know it is a 15 and ehc we know it is a 1000. So, 15 divided by 1000 0.015. So, I find out the force of mortality 0.015. Then what will be here? 1018 and 1015. Here 1018, 1015. This is why I taken this numbers and uh, I taken exposed risk to 1000 for each age because of calculating very easy. So this is my force of mortality. Next, what I have to find out what is the graduate rate? How to find out the graduate rate is method of graduation we will learn in the next chapter. Graduate rate is representing mu h in top we have to put a circle. So, graduate rate is different methods are there. We can use some mathematical formula to find out the graduation rate or some compare with the standardized table. Standardized table value we can say it is s. We will fill in top in s. Graduation will give the circle. So, compare with the standardized table or some other method we can use to find out the what is the graduation rate. And we are observing this graduation rate is matching with the observed death. 
that is my our test so graduation rate so i used some mathematical formula i and find out my graduation rate is 0 0.02 for all the age taking constant graduation rate for all the age so I'm taking constant graduation rate for calculating purpose for example purpose I'm taking constant graduation rate this graduation rate is getting from different mathematical formula or compared with the standard table that method of graduation will learn in next chapter so this graduation rate will give in our exam uh, examination in exam paper it is available graduation rate we no need to calculate normally we will not need to calculate the graduation rate so graduation rate i find out i used some mathematical calculation and i find out it is a 0 0.02 what is my job i my job is this graduation rate is matching with the observed death so what will be my expected death as per graduation rate, what is my expected death? So, dh we can say here, dh we can say dh is equal to into ehc. This is now graduate rate. So, dh is finding out by using this formula. So, my mu0 h is equal to 0, 0 0.02. I am multiplying with the exposed to risk so what will be this point will be 20 20 20 so here it is uh, 0 0.02 into exposed risk is 1000 so i got 20 there also 20 so i got constant death in all the age constant death in all the age so i'm taking because i've taken graduate rate 0 0.02 for the old age. So, I expecting the death is 20 for each age from 31 to 39. But my observed death is like that. I am testing for this one is matching with here. So, we using some calculation poison distribution. This death is following poison distribution 0 adds into EHC. We know that that is following poison distribution that we estimated mu is equal to dh divided by hc for calculating the poison distribution we using the normal approximation method normal approximation method is using to find out the observed death so dh we can say we are approximating to normal approximation then as per poison distribution this is a mean mean and variance will be same so we can write normal distribution mean is equal to hcc and variance also equal to hcc so we are using normal approximation to calculate the poisson distribution so dh is following normal approximation so this is only one calculation in normal approximation standardized deviation zs we can say h minus mu divided by sigma that means x minus mean divided by standard deviation. So, here how we can write z is equal to x is dx, dx, dx minus this is equal to mu0 x ESC divided by mu0 x ESC. I have to take a standard deviation, we have to take a root square of mu0 x into ESC. So, this is my standardized deviation zx this is only one formula using for the calculation so first we will see ds minus ehc what is the meaning of ds minus ehc what is the meaning of ds minus ehc this is a deviation ds is observed death and this is expected death so actual death divided by this we can say actual death minus expected death that is in 
numerator. Numerator of this value is actual death. DHC is actual death minus expected death. So, we will find out the actual death minus expected death. Writing here ZS. Then deviation. What is my deviation? Deviation is actual death minus expected death. What is actual death? It is 15. My expected death is 20. So my deviation is minus 5. Here 18 minus 20 minus 2. Here it is minus 5 and minus 2. Then here also minus 5 and here it is 10. Then uh, 5, 2, then 5 and 2. So, this is my expected, my deviations. That means observed death is 15. My expected death is, death is 20. So, my deviation is minus 5. And we have to find out Z as, what we will do? We have to divide by, this is dh minus mu 0 h ehc divided by root of mu h ehc. So, we have to divide by this, this divided by root of 20, this value. This we have to divide by root of 20. What will be that value? That value will be approximately minus 1.1. We are also divided by root 20. So, minus 0 0.45. This is approximate value. Here it is minus 1.1, minus 0 0.45, minus 1.1. And it is divided by root 20. What will get? 2.2. Then here 1.1, 0 0.45, and 1.1, 0 0.45. So, this is my ZS. So, I received ZS by using ZS calculation. This is only one equation is using for this approximation. So, if you do chi square test, what we will do for chi square test? I can perform the chi square test also. Chi square test, we can say sum of Z dash square. If you do the Z dash square, we will get a chi square test. We know the chi square test is observer minus expected square divided by expected. Observer death and expected death divided by expected. So, this is chi square test. I can do this chi square test also here. So, I will uh, removing the deviation. This is not required for us. So, I mentioned Z so, square. So, 1.1 is square will get 1.25. Here it is 0 0.2, 1.25, 0 0.2, then 1.25, and here it will get 5, and 1.25, then 0 0.2, 1.25, 0 0.2. So, this is my z square. So, sum of the z square, how much is this total will get approximately 12. Then next we will compare with whether this test is passed or not. So, I am doing initially chi square test whether it is passed or not. So, in 5 percentage level, my significance value is 15. Approximate value not taken from the test book uh, table. So, 12 is passed if my significance value is 15 or 14 or 16, 12 is passed the chi square test. Once it is passed chi square test, what I can say, what is my null hypothesis? Null hypothesis said is saying that my graduation rate, my graduation rate is match with the observed data. My graduation rate is matching with the observed data. So, my null hypothesis you can say it is possible. Only 5% say what is the significance value? 5 percentage means 5 percentage there will be an extreme case. So, this 5 percentage will be an extreme case. Remaining it will be same. So, 95 percentage it will match. It will consistent with, we can say it is consistent with the observed. 
95 percentage is consistent with the observed data. 5 percentage will be a extreme case. So, for me, it is a 15 to 12. So, I can say chi score test is positive. So, in this test, I make my own premium rate, I make one premium 10,000 and I inform it to my boss, my premium rate is correct. As per my test, I have done 10,000 is the premium for each person is from 30 to 39. Now, boss is asking me to do the standardized deviation test, then only we will understand what is the whether this value is correct or not. Chi score tests have many defects. So, we are performing the standardized deviation test for that. Drawing the normal curve. So, this is normal curve, it is 0, and in this side it is a 1 and here it is 2, here it is 3, in this side it is minus 1 and 2, minus 2 and 3, minus 3. So, performing the standardized deviation test, I just draw the normal curve. So, normal curve, you see the normal curve. First, I have to do first test, it is symmetry. Whether it is symmetric or not. So, for that, I just taking these values. We are not now considering any values in this side. We are taking only ZS. So, this observed value, you can say observed value and expected value. So, how many numbers is observed? Observed in 0 to minus 1, 0 to minus 1, 1, 2, only 2 members are there. This is a minus 1 to 0. This is 0 to 1, this is 1 to 2 and 2 to 3. Here minus 2 to minus 1 and minus 3 to minus 2. So, here it is 2, we will put in 2 and here it is, here also 0 to 1, 0 to 1, this 2 values is falling under 0 to 1, then 1 to 2, 1 to 2 also 2 values and 2 to 3, this value is falling here, minus 1 to minus 2. 1, 2, 3. So, minus 3 is here, here it is 0. So, this is my observed values. My observed values is taking from the ZS, is taking from ZS. Each component is put in here in observed place. So, a standard curve, they are explained 34 percentage should be here and 34 percentage should be 0 to 1 and 0 to minus 1, here 34 percentage should following under in this interval and another 34 percentage has to falling under that. So, total here to here 68 percentage has to follow, should fall under 0 to 1, that means minus 1 to 1, interval is minus 1 to 1, 68 percentage has to fall under in this interval, minus 1 to 1. Then 1 to 2, 14 percentage, 2 to 3, 2 percentage, here also 14 percentage, 2 percentage. So, actually, actually is minus 1 to minus 2 is 13.5 and here it is 2.5, but uh, in our calculation purpose, to easy purpose, we taken 14 percentage, here it is 2 percentage. So, minus 1 to 2, 14 percentage value should be here. And my 1 to 2, 14 percentage, 2 to 3, 2 percentage. This is condition for the 
नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नॉर्मल कर्व दिस इज द कंडीशन now we'll check with how this values is falling under here so for me expected value so my calculation is 1 10 sets are there so 1 2 3 4 5 6 ten sets are there 10 into 34 percentage what is 10 into 34 percentage i expected 0 to 1 3.4 values another 10 into 34 percent here also 3.4 this is my expected the 3.4 number values should falling under 0 to minus 1 is 3.4 0 to 1 is 3.4 again 14 percentage 1.4 here 2 percentage is 0.2 here also 1.4 and 0.2 this is my expected i am expecting this much values should falling under this is a category 0 to minus 1 0 to 1 but my observed values are like that so first thing is checking the symmetry i am just checked whether positive and negative signs is same or not positive and negative whether how many positive are there how many negatives are there 1 2 3 4 5 five negative is there and 1 2 3 4 5 five positive is there so my symmetry is following plus positive is five numbers is positive is there 1 2 3 4 5 and minus negative also five numbers is there so i can say my symmetry this is first test is passed symmetry is following plus five and minus five and the overall shape what is this shape so normal curve we getting the shape of like that then what will happen 68 percentage will falling here and 14 percentage here 14 percentage and 2 percentage but for me how what happen 0 to minus 1 to 1 40 percentage only here it is 2 plus 2 that means 10 into 4 that 40 percentage is falling under minus 1 to 1 Minus one to one only forty percentage, and minus minus one to minus two for me thirty percentage is falling here. Here thirty percentage is falling, and here it is twenty percentage. Here ten percentage, here zero percent. So to looking the picture, we will understand it is not falling, not following the normal curve. so overall shape will not following the normal shape because as per the normal curve 68 percentage but here only 40 percentage here 14 percentage but here 30 percentage here 14 percentage it is following 20 percentage so normal curve is not following so i can say the shape is different shape is not in normal curve so this test is next third we checking the absolute deviation what is the absolute deviation to finding the absolute deviation is there in that minus 2 by 3 and 2 by 3 in the interval minus 2 by 3 to 2 by 3 what is the minus 2 by 3 into 2 by 3 minus 0.66 to 0.6 approximately minus 0.6 to minus 0.6 50% suggest to Fall under minus zero point six to zero point six. You check it here in this interval. How many numbers is falling under this interval? One, two, three, four. So for me, forty percentage is falling under this interval. Only four numbers are there in minus zero point six to zero point six. That means minus two by three to two by three. As per absolute deviation is telling, fifty percentage is actually falling here. But for me, forty percentage. Then I can reject the null hypothesis because it is not in the shape normal curve, and it is not following the this rule also. Fifty percentage is not following. Here we getting the only forty percentage. So this absolute deviation also failed. now we'll see the 
Fourth one, outlier. Any outliers is there or not? As per outlier, 1 into 20 will be in 1.96. Value 1.96 or 2, approximately 2. But for me, 1 into 10, for me only 10 sets of values. In the 10 set, 1 is falling here. This value is 2.2. .2. See, this value is 2.2. .2. So, this is an outlier. In one value, in the out of 10 sets, one value is falling under outside. So, this value we can say it is a suspicious value. We have to check again whether this value is correct or not. Or any sampling error. Because it is falling in outside. So, this value we can say it is an outlier. So, there is a big outlier. So, this also will be not falling. Next, we are checking with the graduation whether it is over graduate or under graduate. So, I am removing this all the test is failed. I can reject the null hypothesis directly. Now, I am thinking about Whether overgraduate or undergraduate, a drawing. So, I am taking the <laughs> To finding out over graduation or under graduation, I am taking the at size this is age, this is age 31, 32, 33, 34, up to 39. Taking the age and y axis is u0 x or v x, the estimated value. Post of mortality is taking in the y axis and Age is taking at sets. So, we will see whether it is overgraduate or undergraduate. In my in our exam, we can't draw like that. We can see itself, we can reject the null, hypo, null hypothesis. So, here it is 0 0.15. For me, 0 0.15. 31 age is 0 0.15. Then 0 0.18. Then again 0 0.15. Then 0 0.18. Then again 0 0.15, then it is 30, that is here 0 0.03, 0 0.03 here and 0 0.25 and 0 0.22 again and 0 0.25 and 0 0.22. This is values of this one. What is this one? Force of mortality, expected, estimated force of mortality. So, estimated force of mortality I draw here. And what is my graduation force of mortality? Graduate rate, graduate rate is 0 0.024 from 31 to 39. So, my graduate rate is 0 0.02. This is my graduate rate. So, my graduate car, my graduate line is very smooth. It is a straight line. So, I can say it is a perfectly smooth, but my observed estimation of force of mortality is some values falling under and some values upper. Now, you observe why this test, this test number of values is in tail. That means it is in tail, it is far from the 0, 1 and minus 1. It is far from the 1 to 3 or 3 to 4 or somewhere else. More values in falling under here means it is in over graduation. 0 to 1, minus 1 to 1, we can say all most of the values in nearby our graduate rate. But 1 to 2 or 2 to 3, number of values is more means it is over graduation. So, number of values in tail, we can say in the normal curve, number of values in tail is more means it is a over graduation. You see, my graduate line is like that, number of values is falling under and one number of values falling. So, deviations is more. 
from the agitated rate my deviation is more so this will be a over graduation and another things chi square test first deviation first difference of chi square test is outlier one largest value unable to find out the outlier values so here you see this is outlier this value is the outlier this value is finding out by the standardized deviation we understood 2 to 3 one value is there this value we can say it is a outlier in chi square test this value is here but my chi square test is possible so this largest value this largest value is offset by small number of small values due to this small values my test is possible but i not considered this largest value so this is my outlier value another one defects is saying that number of by it is biased in up and down you see it is biased it is not like that if it is like that picture if it is like that it is not biased but there is a some preference in down and some preference in up so we can say it is biased in up and down so negative values some preference preference is here here also some preference in above the line and below the line so we will say it is biased in up and down and also we can say some consecutive ages make a groups you see 31 to 34 some consecutive ages make a group in below the line here it is in above the line some groups is formed in above the line and below the line so these are the defects is there in the chi score test we are unable to find out these defects in the chi score test we are finding out through our standardized deviations if i make a 10,000, I made a how much number is premium rate is 10,000. I make a 10,000 for everybody from 31 to 39, from age of 31 to 39, I make a 10,000. Premium rate is 10,000. Then what will happen? Up to 31 to 35, people will suggest never take this premium. Why? I have taken my expected death is higher my observed death is less but my expected death is higher so other companies other companies will make a premium of 8000 why because their expected death is somewhere here only their expected death is somewhere here means they will make a premium rate of 8000 my expected death is higher so i make a my premium of 10000 so what will happen people will take a premium from here only they will not pay more amount to take a premium so they will take a less premium less premium they are offering same so and here in this side what will happen my premium is 10000 here also my premium is 10000 my expected death is less compared with observed death so some <coughs> What will happen? I will give 10,000 premium. Most of the people will take from us only. Most of the people will take life insurance premium from us. Then what will happen for company? Company is, is face a, some difficulty to give the claim because claim ratio will more. Here claim will increase. Because I expected the 20 but here it is a 30 death. So my claim is increased but i collected a lesser premium so my company will face again some loss so we should make a graduation rate should falling under correct in the uh, expected death that is the this standardized deviation test thank you for watching my class and subscribe my channel and visit my website Bravel institute and if you want to more about more clarification Kindly send me mail also or join with my class. Thank you.